Lesson 12, La Crosse at the Treaty of Traverse de Sioux. The term Kaposia, which is used to identify Little Crow's Dakota village, is a word that means light and active. The name was given to Little Crow's village in honor of their skill at the native game of lacrosse, the success of which depended largely on swiftness. The traveler and artist Frank Blackwell Mayer referred to the Kaposia band as the Lithe People. While camped at Traverse de Sioux for the treaty negotiations in 1851, Mayer witnessed firsthand a game of lacrosse played by the Dakota people. Traditionally, the native game of lacrosse was a major event that could take several days and included anywhere from 100 to 1,000 players. The field, which generally had no out-of-bounds, could stretch anywhere from 500 yards to 6 miles long. In his journal, Mayer thoroughly described the native game and was impressed by many aspects. He first noted the regalia of the ball players, who were dressed in a breech cloth and whose heads were adorned in every variety of fanciful manner. He also noticed their belts, which the Dakota used to hang ornaments that greatly contributed to the effect of motion. Finally, he noticed their faces, which were often painted with brilliant colors. As Mayer watched the game being played on the prairie, he was enamored by the skill and physical talents required. After witnessing a point scored, he left a vivid description. One is at last successful. He shakes the crowd from him and runs as near to the bounds as he can without danger of losing his ball. He is at the extreme end of the prairie, a half mile distant from the place he left. Again they contend and the ball is carried nearly to the opposite bounds. The chiefs and old men encouraging their men with a rapid stream of Dakota fluency. The players contending to their utmost, their suppressed words of eager rivalry indicating the vigor of their exertions. Now in the eastern bound, now by your side, the crowd of spectators escaping from the stream of players by whom they are likely to be overwhelmed. From one end to the other of the immense prairie, from your side to the distant horizon, they course with incredible swiftness. The game, Mayer noted, took all day with only a slight intermission for rest. By the end, he suggested that the players must have run at least 40 or 50 miles. Mayer was so impressed that he stated, One can have no idea of the physical powers of this people until he has witnessed this display. This was one of many games and dances that Mayer had the opportunity to witness while camped at Traverse de Sioux leading up to the treaty negotiations.